the best way to start your day? Well, for me, it is a morning run. And today, I won't be using a smartwatch or a running app to track my run. So let's see how I get on. This track is equipped with facial recognition technology powered by multiple sensors that can capture your heart pulse, as well as your gender and your age. Well, roughly that is. This is then used to give you a personalized breakdown result of your exercise. All right, so that was the end of my run. And the data shows that I ran for 900 meters at a speed of about 2.4 meters per second. And I lost, most importantly, 66 calories, which is not a bad start to the day. And I think I need a rest right now. And while I rest, I'm gonna charge my phone on this uh, solar powered charging bench. Residential places like this are the new breed of smart communities popping up in the Tianjin Binghai New Area. One of them is called the Sino Singapore Tianjin Eco City, located some 150 kilometers from Beijing. Literally, everything is at your fingertips. Xiaodu, Xiaodu. Uh, Also, a big part of this eco-city is green transportation, like smart electric buses. These buses can drive themselves at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. I was curious to see if it would stop if I walked across at the intersection. According to its developers, the bus can recognize incoming traffic lights using a specially installed camera. And by the time it's fully operational, it will have real-time communication with the traffic light system, boosting its safety and reliability on the roads. But what else is smart in this eco-city? This is the China Singapore Friendship Library, right in the center of the new Binghai area where they are developing this eco city. And pivotal to this is the smart library. And yes, smart means, and you guessed it, there are more robots providing the service than actual people. So let's go meet those robots. So this library smart system goes beyond just the robots. Also, with your returning or borrowing books, there's an intelligent system that makes the process faster. So let's go have a look. I mean, I've spent the day at the library and I found it quite interesting in the sense that they're trying to make the idea of a library more interactive. You know, so making the experience more fun and bringing the visitors more closer to the library. So it's kind of...
The library, meanwhile, is more than just a demo project. This is what the Chinese and the Singaporean governments believe about this eco-city, which aims to inhabit 350,000 people. But also, it can be replicated and scaled in more and more places with low financial and environmental costs. And that could be the key to its success.